Well, hi everyone, and here I am with my first uh, Robo Riders review for Throwback Thursday. Because as you kind of saw, as it, as you saw, I did finish up on all the Robots reviews, but now I've gone over to these, and after these, bought the classic reviews for Throwback Thursdays, and yeah. So we're starting it off with Swamp and Lava. So for the casters, which are the old style circular shape. But as you see with each one, the color matches the, the lit part and the character within. You see the Lego logo, Technic logo, Roborire's logo, the name, the picture of the character in action. And then on one side is the age range, uh, set number, and the amount of pieces. And then swivel it to one side till you see Top secret web code, which if you put this in the fridge, then you would get, or refrigerator, then you get a web code of which. So, uh, you're going to have to try that yourself, because I'm not going to bother doing it on video. And then you see snippets of it in pieces, and built up, and shooting the wheel, and then, and then inside, which all the other sets listed off and highlighted of which characters in the caster. But also, so now a little thing to note about these casters is they're the same as the original Tomata's casters, but except the top is different, but, they, but both of which do have actual connector points on it, like the Robo Riders, ones of which have a single uh, pinhole there, which works with the combiner models of these sets. And yes, they are indeed stackable with each other, even though the Tomatas ones are a little more loose than that. But the other way around, they still do kind of work. <coughs> so, let's see. So, to start out with each set is with starting out with La Swan. So I see. It has a neat color scheme. See, this color scheme is lime green and teal, which we haven't really seen in any sets for a long time. Even though teal has kind of made a recent return in some recent system sets, and yeah. So on the the torso or the main uh, piece of which seems made of two separate pieces, is which all the sets use. And also this like a uh, headpiece, kind of similar to that of the, the robots ones, but except it's one solid piece rather than like two separate pieces, and uh, which does have this name on it, swap, and but also the front area of which does have the katana minifig katanas in green. And uh, one of the features of this one is that if you go like this, and it makes the like swords slash forward kind of cool. And so, to the main feature that these all have is that you can like pull out this front wheel area and then pull these out and then pull this and then let it shoot. So kind of, uh, let me do it one more time. So kind of a perfect homage to the uh, Throwbots wheel pieces. But uh, just like the Throwbot discs, each of the wheels of which have different stats to them. But except it was two purrs each one instead of like one for each one. But but the colors vary depending on which Robo Rider it came with. So like a, as for this one, which I think is a midway one. But also these pieces used on here, which made a somewhat return in the uh, in Tarakadum and Nevok in 2004 uh, in Bionicle. Okay. And then as you can kind of make it out, the wheels back here also a little printed. Probably different ratings to them. And 
but also all these technique beams are in bright green, which is good for mock making. I guess that is about it with Swamp. And now on to Lava. This color scheme being similar to that of Torch Throwbots of Red and Black, but with accents of orange. And as for his headpiece, uh, quite the same, but a different print to it. But the name of which is printed to the side rather than on in the center of swamps. But the other th Robo Riders will have that too. And as for his main feature, which is kind of similar to swamps, but it's but you just make it push forward and do that with these Knights Kingdom axes. And as, and, but also those large Technic paneling pieces, but in red, oh, which is kind of nice. And if you wonder what, if you have those pieces and wonder what the little slots at the bottom are for, well, they're for this beach with this large piece, which wasn't used in any bottom sets. And let's see how he does it. Like so. And then here's one of his wheel pieces. And then another one. Oh, it's the same as Swamp's front one, but, you know, different colors. And this one. Also, be like an extra uh, Technic uh, pin piece, one of those uh, odd ones. Uh, not sure what's up there for. Probably as an extra handle or just something for the combiner model, which you can make with these two. And uh, what else is there to say? Uh, not much, but yeah. And I guess that is it with these two. So my overall verdict, uh, these of which were some interesting sets at the time of 2000. And, and at least they do have some variety, nice variety pieces, like Swamp's nice teal pieces to him, and like the teal katanas, which you can use for custom mini things and stuff. And yeah, if you are always have these sets, then I hope you had some good memories of them, and if you haven't, haven't yet gotten them, well, go ahead and find them online, or like Ricklink or whatever, and yeah. And that is it with this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching!